folks and welcome to bcloud ready this uh, video uh, today i'm going to talk about uh, monitoring specifically uh, for prometheus because lately this has been one of the most uh, popular monitoring platform used in a couple of years and uh, it was uh, today so a few days back i posted a blog regarding the same explaining about the yeah so yeah looks like website was closed so I uh, posted a blog about uh, uh, about Prometheus. So I did some of a uh, uh, few weeks ago. So what is Prometheus? Prometheus is a, uh, actually it was developed by in a SoundCloud. Uh, the main reason for developing this platform was to have uh, a HTTP based uh, pulled uh, monitoring. So, and over the period when they realized it is so good, so it evolved to have uh, now support pretty much everything. So if you want to understand Prometheus from a, uh, for the starters, think of it as a kind of a database or a data storage. What it does basically, it allows Prometheus uh, out of the box, it comes with uh, a process and it process has ability to extract data from different sources. And then the, uh, uh, so it stores data, but it is the, I won't call it a database, but I will call it as a kind of a data source where all monitoring data can be captured and exported in a, uh, take an example, any dashboarding uh, application like Grafana. So this this has been a pretty much standard uh, uh, stack for monitoring, especially in a cloud environment or a big data environment. You have, even with the Hortonworks Ambari, you have uh, inbuilt uh, Grafana dashboard prepared. So based on what data source you are using, either you can use Ambari uh, matrix or you can use Prometheus uh, for your monitoring data collection, monitoring matrix and telemetry information, and you can export it pretty much anywhere. So this is the basic uh, architecture diagram of uh, Prometheus. So if you see Prometheus server is running as a, is doing primarily three services it's providing you. One is retrieval of information, which is retrieval of your monitoring information. Second is storage. It stores the data in a highly efficient way in a local uh, system. And, and data is always a time series data. You have to just, uh, just make a note of it. And then it provides a ProQL, which is like kind of a way to export its data to any outside application. So ProSQL is nothing but how you will query their uh, and their matrix you can uh, you can it supports pretty much very complex uh, uh, not com uh, like it will support a uh, uh, basic feature of any monitoring provides like uh, doing a mean over a period of time having an average or maximize a maximum of certain values so if you see the whole framework looks like here you have a retrieval storage and stored in uh, hdd and you can pretty much have a uh, multi tenancy as well and uh, on the other side, you see the they have, uh, as I said, it was originally it was developed to pull to pull the all HTTP matrix in a SoundCloud, but overall because now the architecture of uh, Prometheus how it works is it 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 is a kind of a port monitoring. It pulls each and every port, so it's a kind of a scraping. It will scrape through the ports, and from there it will extract all information. By default, it extracts HTTP information but you can enhance it to export additional information. Take an example, over a period of time, people have evolved like a push gateway or node export. So what they eventually do is they export their monitoring and uh, matrix information on a HTTP port and that port can be scanned by Prometheus. So this is a very modular approach to provide a, a pretty much anything you can monitor. So assume an infrastructure where you have one Prometheus server which is running and you can actually ask it to scan as many ports in your across the network as possible and just keep it scanning scanning and it will give you all data in a very uh, unified way and the same data can be easily pulled by different uh, applications like you can have your own api to if you want to have some kind of dashboard you can have a grafana you can have and also it uh, comes with the alert manager it's it is not a part of prometheus server it's a different server what it does is it uh, based on various uh, trigger param parameter it can generate. So Prometheus server will generate the alert, but uh, 
the alert manager will do the notification so notification out of the box it comes with email support pager duty support slack support or hip chat so this is the overview of it so i'm not going to go too much detail about it so for for the starters you can consider like uh, if you just want to have uh, something uh, working your prometheus server it just comes out of the box you download the jar tar file extract it is up and running it's written in go so you the source code if you don't download the source code you have to compile it better just get the pre-compiled uh, version you can get it from their website and then you have similar you have alert uh, server and you have grafana server and installation procedure what i did be, uh, for this i put everything on a uh, on a github as a uh, vagrant file so you can just for an easy and quick hack you can pretty much uh, copy this i'll do it right over here uh, so i cloned my repo and now i go inside and all you have to do is uh, vagrant up so when i do vagrant up it will uh, spin up the machine and while this is doing it i'll just uh, go and explain uh, about uh, this uh, what is inside the vagrant file so inside the vagrant file what am i doing here is uh, Okay, so looks like so. If I go here, so it's, this is the GitHub, and if I go here in Vagrant file, if you see Vagrant file, what I'm doing is uh, spinning up a CentOS 7 BM and the machine host name will be set up uh, based on the number right now it's only n1 you can actually put n2 and 3 as many as you want it will create that many virtual machine and i'm setting up two uh, for nat rules which is 90 first is 1990 which is the default prometheus port and 8000 is the example uh, uh, python uh, exporter i wrote which will go over it uh, about it and then it will like, execute this Ansible uh, script, which will install all the uh, prerequisite. So if, if I go back here and uh, we have, this is the Ansible script. Uh, so Ansible script, what am I doing? I'm installing uh, like prerequisite package like EPL and uh, then I'm installing Python pip. And then this, these are the unarchived downloading from the latest uh, prometheus which is 2.0 and then uh, extracting it and starting it uh, on a background and then i'm going to start this uh, i did a uh, simple example using uh, gauge uh, number of prometheus how to export it so if we go back to the progress we could see so this is pretty much done so what it did it uh, instantiated the vm and everything is up so if i go back to the blog post here so next thing you will see you just open a browser and you should see something like this so you see here it's up and running and as you can see there are a lot of out of the box uh, matrix are given to you so you can pretty much click on anything and uh, you click on graph and here you can choose say i want to see one minute so it shows you all by default it has some uh, basic uh, graphs here but it's not heavily customizable as you can do with the Grafana, but it does the job for you. So it sees a, because, it, uh, because this is a Go process. So by default, if uh, I want to show you another file, this is the how the installation setup is done. And second key file is the this Prometheus.yml. This is the main configuration file which tells Prometheus what to do. So if you see here, global scan interval, which is how often it should scan the port, it is 15 seconds and evaluation is 15 seconds and then we have uh, this is the scrap uh, config so first cap is by default it comes with 9090 it means it is scrapping itself so it also monitors prometheus server itself second thing is this is the node exporter node exporter is uh, as i said it was this application was designed for http not exactly for monitoring like graphite or any other thing so take an example you have a separate Linux, Linux machine or a container or anything or VM, you want to monitor base matrix uh, of that like memory, CPU utilization. So for that purpose, you can install a node exporter on that machine and uh, by default it runs on port 9100 
and you can ask Prometheus to monitor that port and you will get all statistics, all the metrics from that machine in your Prometheus uh, server. So it gives you a centralized uh, storage of all metrics and telemetry information that can be further utilized. So this is be, uh, because this is just an example. So what I did, I installed in the same machine on this particular port. This is, if you go any anything, everything is a uh, uh, HTTP. It's like a web server. And third one is the, I just said BCRX4, which is a Python simple script, which is running on 8000 port. So what this uh, one is doing, this is a simple application. So what I did, I installed, <coughs> the, there's a Prometheus comes with a lot of uh, client libraries. So pretty much on most any popular uh, programming language, you will find a client library. So this uh, client library, just to show that how quick and easy is to, if, just in case if assume there is no open source plugin available or even the node exporter or push gateway is not having enough uh, what you for your requirement so you can quickly write up a your own uh, export Prometheus data export uh, script so here I'm importing these uh, this this library and uh, <coughs> uh, there are many types of uh, variable that you can use one is counter one is gauge one is summary these are for different requirement I, I just want to show that okay uh, if I want to say check see if the process is alive or not so I can use this gauge variable just set it one zero or something like that and uh, it also so this client library also supports a starting HTTP server so what is doing is it's starting a web server at port 8000 and I'm just running a loop with five second loop five seconds sleep and I'm increasing the gauge and decreasing the gauge just for a sake of uh, exp experimentation so gauge <coughs> it will look like this and uh, this is the custom matrix so this is the, I have a link for github page here and you can go here and you can see <coughs> this is the this is the this script when it runs it looks like this this script when you run it and actually there are uh, I think there are yeah there are steps written here uh, how to run it so pretty much it's vagrant up and everything should be up and running and if I go here see this is my variable this is right now pointing 52 and this variable is pretty easy if I either I copy paste or I can just go here just and clean the up and I can see you see this variable is visible here so I remove it and I execute this is I can see here graph so you can see the graph here it's uh, the, it is increasing the value because we are uh, increasing by 3 and decreasing by 2 so actually it's every uh, 5 second it is increasing so I can see the time value and I can put a 5 minute uh, here so you can see it's, it's, a, it's a step function so you can see a step function and this is the just an example how to do it so if you guys uh, follow this, you should be able to up and running one basic Prometheus uh, instance running and uh, <coughs> you can do a lot of other fancy stuff with it. And reference I've used only this uh, for the diagram for, and that's it. And if you have any comments, just leave it below or you can subscribe to my channel or my blog. And till the time, uh, see you again, bye bye.